Okay, here's the little Ford. Uh, it's a 2.3 liter four cylinder. Uh, my big concern was how well it would work with the uh, OBD2 sensors. Uh, that's onboard diagnostic generation two. Uh, but I'm quite surprised it's working well. So the modifications I made, this is the uh, air filter where the air comes in from the outside. And all I did to modify this was to put a, uh, a flap valve in here and this is controlled from the uh, from the uh, uh, the dash where I can move this back and forth to either shut off the air coming in or leave it wide open or somewhere in between then as you move on here for some reason when they built this they had these two inlets I'd cut out the rubber in it and it's a perfect fit for the sump pump hoses bringing the charcoal gas to this engine. So that's the only modification. You notice there's no valves on here. It's just uh, when I have the valve shut to cut off the outside air, it pulls more charcoal gas from the charcoal gasifier. Now inside here, I had to be able to shut off the gasoline. And that's done with this little switch here which is attached to the uh, inertia impact switch uh, which is under the kickboard there on the right on the passenger side all I did was cut one wire and put this switch in it so when I turn it on the gas is on and when I turn it off the fuel pump shuts off so when I turn it off the the fuel pump basically shuts down within two seconds okay the other modification is this this is the control that controls that uh, butterfly valve I just showed you on the air inlet. You can see that's closed and that's wide open. So when I'm running on gasoline, I have this wide open. Uh, when I'm running on wood gas, it's almost all the way closed. And I found that the onboard computer is able to switch this very easily from charcoal gas to gasoline. So I'm going up a hill, I'm losing power because you know charcoal basically derates your engine by about a quarter to a third. So I need more boost. Maybe there's a bunch of cars behind me. So all I do is just turn on the gasoline and then open her wide open, boom, right up the hill. And then once I get up there, I just turn off the gasoline and start throttling this down and I'm running on charcoal gas. I'm surprised how easy it is for the computer to switch between the two. Okay, one other thing I want to show you. This is the fluid drip that's attached to the side of the container. Uh, I have used motor oil in here and basically I have a valve here to monitor the drip and then it goes into the hot oxidation so it's not necessary but it does give you a little more uh, boost in power and so there's the system I'm very pleased with it uh, the gasifier weighs about 50 pounds the air filter weighs maybe 10 and I had this running yesterday it's still a little warm so the fire is still burning in there so I don't even have to relight it I can actually just open this valve Head down the, yeah, open this valve, fire, fire up the engine on gasoline, head down the road, and it'll start picking up the fire. And probably about probably t two to three miles, I'll be able to switch over to charcoal gas. So, charcoal gasification. Very simple, and I'm really pleased with the results.